this is weird. So I got this today for three bucks at a uh, sale. It says ten bucks on there, but it was three bucks. I don't know if this is a bootleg because if you'll take a look at it, the painting is really bad and the lining is also really bad. So have they stepped down their game this much or is this just a bootleg? So I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at the back. Everything on the box itself seems completely fine, but I can't really place, because I, I, obviously you'd want a bootleg to look exactly like the original, so I have no idea. So let's get this opened. Yeah, come on, look at this. This is, this has to be bootleg. Okay, so look at the, if we check out the lining on this, we can see that it's pretty terrible. Um, this isn't even straight at all. The lining is just, it just feels like nasty paint. So I am almost 100% sure this is bootleg. I'm going to look like a total idiot if it's not, but let's check out the other stuff. Yeah, come on. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> All right. So let's check out this first. Okay. You know, everything on this one looks better. Not exactly much detail on it, but everything looks pretty good. This one, everything looks fine. It's just on the engine itself. I don't know what the deal is. Well, let's put batteries and see if it works. Bruh. <laughs> So I still can't tell if it's bootleg or if it's just not supposed to work on those kind of tracks. As I said, the lining, if you can take a look at this closely, is pretty nasty. So I really can't tell because this thing is, it, it, the paint is just nasty on it. So uh, I got it for three bucks, like I said. So I'm going to lean towards its bootleg. I want you guys to let me know in the comments, though, if it is bootleg or not.